Oh, good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Happy New Year. Everybody enjoy their holidays. <laughs> How many people are from San Francisco here? How many people are from California? We're outnumbered. Uh, who's That's very cool. Seattle? Seattle? No. Who's from Seattle? You know we're coming up there in like a month, right? <laughs> She's like, yeah, but I don't like San Francisco. New Orleans! Who's, uh, who's first time? <laughs> so far, you're lying. <laughs> That's my favorite response to so far. Woo! I'm <laughs> like, woo! I love it. Hey, that's good. I am too. Did you have this coffee? Is that what's going on? <laughs> Wait, give me that hat. Uh, I saw this on Shark Tank. <laughs> but this is too short for my arms. This is like for Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> oh my god. That's how long it is. Oh my god. <laughs> That's your, uh, is that your spirit animal? <laughs> We were talking spirit animals the other day. Wait, wait, did I, did, did did I tell you? Did I tell you? Um, so we just we just recently sold our house in Los Angeles. Uh, Woo! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and our real estate agent, as a gift, got, got my Your wife. real estate agent is not here right now, right? Anybody here in Vincent's real estate? <laughs> Got, got my wife one of those. <laughs> it was, I think it was a wolf. Oh, uh, you know, the, the whole headdress with the. the yeah, they know what wolves are. And they've seen the show. But in all seriousness, it was like, I believe this to be your spirit animal. <laughs> but, but don't you think it's uh, California? <laughs> I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Your own spirit animal? No, no it chooses, chooses you. Y'all <laughs> said that in yeah. Is that true? Yes. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, what's the Harry Potter thing? Oh, the Patronus. 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 And, and you know what I got? She got this, you know, thing. Now we're, I don't know whether to stuff it or shoot it. And, <laughs> and uh, eat it. Fry it. So she got like a spirit animal. And what did, what did I get? I got a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> I don't know, which, which funny enough, which is my spirit animal. Computer sticker? <laughs> Whatever it was. But Jensen's telling me the story. Uh, Jensen and Danielle are telling the story about like her spirit animal and the wolf. And I go, I stole this one. My spirit animal is brisket. <laughs> As a true Texan. Uh, I guess mine would have to be a moose. Yeah! It shows me. Well, if that's the case, then mine would have to be a squirrel, and I don't know. Uh, you can't choose, it shows you. <laughs> I was able to, there was another day earlier this week, and it was, you know, we, we just got back to shooting last week, and everybody's still kind of like broaden, and I was able to frighten somebody, accidentally, but I was like, there, and we're about to shoot, and we're outside, and the squirrel runs by, and I'll, instinctually I was like, squirrel! And four or five people, it's like 7 a.m., they're doing touch ups, they're like, what? Why? Why? Why are you yelling squirrel at 7 a.m.? There's a squirrel, it's crazy. It was exciting. I was like, it doesn't take a lot. If somebody wants that. That was a catch. Nice catch. Hi, right, girl. Live up to Two for two. That's worth two full Canadian dollars.
a heart. It's like, <laughs> my second. <laughs> Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> we were not to you last night. Take it off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We were not with you last night. We're gonna take it off. The guy's got gray hair. Give him a break. Uh, we're <laughs> Whoa! Zing! We're sitting outside. It's probably what 10 p.m. We just get done eating, and we're downtown San Francisco. And these guys walk up, and they're kind of chatting. They're from Sacramento, and I think they've had a, a little bit to drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's like three, yeah, like three Sacramento dudes, they're kind of young and cool, and they kind of just go, hey, where's this, where's that? And they look at Jensen and they're like, dude, you look like the guy from Supernatural. <laughs> they keep chatting and they're like, then they look at me and they're like, dude, you too. Dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, then, and finally one of them's like, I don't think this is a coincidence. <laughs> Y'all are the guys. That <laughs> The one guy was, he was like, wow, that's crazy, you guys look a lot like those two guys. <laughs> you too! Yeah, you, it's weird. Anyways, so which <laughs> way is it like the, uh, you guys know what the train station is? <laughs> and his buddy's like, uh, I think it is them. <laughs> I can understand with one, like, in the dark. You have a vague resemblance to one of the guys, but when there are two giant Texan dudes, <laughs> That roughly resemble. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah. I got that. I got that one. I, say, I didn't realize it was legal in Colorado, Washington, and San Francisco. <laughs> I think they were having a good time. I got that one time. I was with my mother, and uh, this person came up to me and was like, "You, you look a lot like that guy from that show." And I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah. What, what, what show?" Uh, the Supernatural show. I'm like, no. Oh, uh, you know what? I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. That's weird. Like, and, and this person's like, ah, that's, that's great. Anyway, sorry to bother you. I walked away, and then my mother just slaps me on the back of the head. Aww. And walks after me. Excuse me, sir. It is him. He's my son. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mom. I get the same look from Jen sometimes. We'll be somewhere and we'll be like, you, you, you look like somebody. Uh, are you on TV? I'm like, uh, you know, you know. She's name Barry Watson. <laughs> That's still my favorite story ever. Uh, earlier when the show started, uh, my, my girlfriend at the time, she was talking with somebody about her boyfriends in the show. And they were like, oh, I've seen it. Like, I like that show. Is he the short one or Barry Watson? <laughs> Is he the short one? The guy from Seventh Heaven. Or the one from Seventh Heaven. <laughs> She was like, well, he's, he's, he's not the short one, though the short one's not really short. And he's not from Seventh Heaven, but they, they look alike, but he has hair. And there's still more girls, but I... I that was a little self plug so. Austin, tell them. Oh, I'll be there. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait. Meet you there. Boo. <laughs> Jensen, please shut up. <laughs> keep on hearing objections. Uh, all right, well, we have uh, managed to chat away. Did anybody have any pressing concerns for 2015? They had to ask to tell, or I see a hand. I see a, I see a shadow of a hand. I think I'm looking at you. Yes, with the fingers. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, like now that you've both been good and evil, what's more fun to play? What do you think? <laughs> I think evil's a lot of fun. Yeah. But maybe it's just because it's a departure. Like if, I, if we were evil characters at our core, I think I'd find it like good. I just think that I think that the change is, is nice. In my opinion. Um, yeah, I think the, the I think the obvious answer is, is evil because it's a it is a change of pace. Um, although it was I was really happy to get back to playing. Regular D. So I think that it. Uh, although I will say that I wish uh, that the the demon uh, storyline, the demon demon storyline, had lasted a little longer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
And funny enough, I was just talking with uh, um, one of our writers, Blew up and was on has been on set for the past week. Jenny, um, baby, baby, baby sitting Jenny. her script, she was, she was which is always kind of interesting when the writer is standing on set, uh, because Jared and I will often take liberties <laughs> with the script uh, that we aren't really held accountable for, um, because they're generally 1,500 miles away. Uh, but that was uh, that was interesting. Um, I, I did find myself being more kind of word perfect or more eager to be more word perfect. And it's funny because it's silly. And I think the writers, I I know the writers believe in us and believe that we're trying to do what's best for our character and see this and that. But when there's a writer on set, all of a sudden you're like, um, sorry, I, I said don't instead of do not. I didn't mean to. I, I, I forget sometimes. I'm sort of like a child. You should become more aware of it, for sure. Yeah. But anyway, I was talking to, to Jenny, and, and, and I, the, the subject of, of Demon Dean was brought up, and she she said that she and a few others agreed that, that they wished that, that storyline had lasted a little longer, but, you know, that's uh, that's kind of the name of the game. What's the last one we aired? What's the last episode we aired? Oh. Oh, Claire. 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 The one with Claire. 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 Oh, that's right. That's right. You killed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I was forced into a situation. You're a real jerk. <laughs> You're a real jerk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Give you, it's okay. Kill as many people as you want. I don't care. I ain't forgiven him yet. I ain't forgiven him. Yes, I see a hand. With the next to half and then. Okay. Right. okay, so you have both become pretty active on social media, so I'm curious, you guys have been doing this a long time, how have you seen social media in your life kind of impact what you do professionally and personally? Uh... <laughs> I've done it for longer, so I'll go first. Um, when social media started, I... I was anti it just because it was something new that I didn't understand. I was kind of in this gray area of, I was a bit too old to do it for fun and a bit too young to realize that I probably should go ahead and, you know what I mean, like if you're 50, you're like, well, I better do this because this is how I can keep touch. Uh, but when I finally started doing it, and I and I, I started my Twitter account for uh, for the Brian Buckley band to kind of raise awareness about it. <laughs> Uh, and then gradually, I've sort of been coming to terms with what's going on. We had a, we flew down with Tomo, and we had a great conversation about. I, I, I wish I was more active, and something will occur to me, and it'll be. I, I think it's funny, so it's probably not funny. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's probably pretty funny. <laughs> I'll have a thought, and then a couple days later, I'll be like, oh, I should have tweeted that or something. That would have been fun. Or like, January 3rd happens, it's like, oh, I forgot to really give like a, I, I was thinking it, but I, it's, it's, it just doesn't yet occur to me. Like, I see some people go like, oh, dude, and pull their phone out and go like, time to write. I'm like, man, it's time, time to share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't occur to me. It's not good or bad. But the other day, I was at a guitar store, buying my season 11 present for myself. <laughs> Uh, and I walked down an aisle, and there was a, there was the, I just twittered, and I took a picture of something, because I thought it was really funny, because it was, it was a thing called permanently lubricated nuts, <laughs> which in the nuts for a guitar, they hold the strings in place, and, they don't come. and I was like, <laughs> and I took a picture of it, and thinking like, the world oh, needs to see this. <laughs> Thinking like, that's really funny, I should share. And then I carried on. And then a couple days later, I was looking through my pictures, I was gonna show somebody a video of Tom or Shep or something. And I was like, oh yeah, the nuts thing, I gotta tweet it. Uh, so it's, it's I'm, I'm learning, I think it's amazing. That's a, a very long way to say, way to say, I think it's a, an awesome, wonderful way to, to become, to let people into your life a little bit, and also to get glimpses into their lives a little bit, and I think, when used properly, it's it's a mixture of personal and I, I, ideally um, letting people know about the causes, what things you're passionate about, interested in, and I 
I can recall being a fan of other people before social media happened and being like, oh, I wish I knew something more. I wish I knew what kind of causes they believe. Like, and even, we were lucky enough to take part in it one time, but I remember being a kid and being like, man, I wish I knew what was important to Eddie Vedder. Like, I would, honest to God. Luckily, we were then able to, a couple years later, you know, find out that he was raising money for this cause. And you're like, oh, cool. Like, that's, I, I believe in him as a person, and I think that if he believes in something, all we can do it, you can learn about his things. And, yeah. What? Uh, it's really interestingly written. <laughs> I've never seen it. Adapting to the, the whole social media thing. Uh, I, I'm, for me, it's I have to kind of remind myself to to, to do it, to, to stay current. And it's you know, it, it, it's not something that um, I readily think about a lot because I'm generally thinking about work or thinking about my family or thinking about you know the fact that I haven't seen my family. And, <laughs> A week or, or whatever it is. Um, so for me, I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to, I need to stay on top of it because it it is a it is a very I'll, I'll use the term tool, but it is it's a it's a it's a great tool for us and for you guys for that that can bring us together. And even though we get to do these things, which I think is an even better situation than just simply tweeting out, uh, hey, you know, happy New Year or whatever it is. Um, I do feel like <clears throat> that I'm still trying to adjust to the fact that, that it, it is a good tool to use uh, to, to not just get like the word out there about maybe what you're into or what you're, what kind of uh, uh, organization that you're supporting or uh, promoting your you know your art as a musician or uh, or anything. Um, but I think it's just it's it, it's bring, it's making the world smaller and it's bringing us more together. And I think for that, it's a really, really unique and great thing. That's the idea of art. Also. Yeah. And, uh, it's, it, it can be fun to tweet silly things, but you know, or like tweet Dean's cell phone number and erase it. <laughs> we have character phones that the props department is in charge of, and they have to be, they activate them. They really just make them, you know, like they load them up with minutes. It's not like it has a whole service plan or anything like that. They just load them up with minutes because we actually do use them uh, um, on occasion for real. Like I will be on the phone talking to somebody else who's reading lines through the phone and having a phone conversation. Um, so in that regard, they actually have to be activated and working. Um, and we got new phones recently. Our characters got new phones recently. <laughs> and so we were playing with the, this new iPhone. No, your phone started ringing randomly. Oh, that's right, that's right. So, so we're sitting on sex, and all of, a sudden, all of a sudden, Dean's phone starts ringing, and I'm like, what the? <laughs> Goddess? Maybe that's the person who called me. Um, and so. So it comes up with this number, and it was a uh, it was a, a Vancouver number. So I thought it may have been. He showed me. He's like, Hell? I'm like, he's calling you. Right now. And I thought it was our props person. I thought it was Robin. She, and I looked over, and she's not on the phone. And I'm like, Who, who's calling you right now? And he's like, answer, answer, answer. <laughs> And they were like, they were like flipping a lens. They were literally sitting on, on set, like we're on our marks, yeah, we're, like we're just we're about sitting up to roll camera and stuff. And I'm like, all right, I'll answer. Hello. And it was a woman. She's like, is is Charles there? I'm like, no, you got the wrong number. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no problem. Is so, Dean Winchester? <laughs> so then I hang up. <laughs> Brainchild over here. So I wonder what would happen if we tweeted that number out. I wonder how many phone calls we get then. And I'm like, do it. So he calls, so I call his phone, his phone number, my phone number, so that he had the number, and then he immediately cut and pasted that one over to his Twitter, and, uh, and what was it, within three seconds? I think sure. It was, it was almost immediate. And we were, like, the crew was watching us, because we were being silly, and, like, everybody... Well, I looked over at Robin, who, who was really more of, like, our set mom, um, if, you know, she, She's responsible for like giving us machetes and stuff like that. And inevitably, if you give a guy a machete and there's <laughs> things to hit or stick the machete into, inevitably it's just like. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so like stick a machete into the wall. Sinestra's so like, uh, I'm right here. Stop it. So she's really become like our mother. Um, but so as Jared's tweeting out the phone number, I look over to Robin. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's just like mad dog. It's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I know you're doing something. I don't know. I know you're doing something. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> damage is done already. Damage is done already. And then immediately oh it's like, God. ring, 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 ring. And it's just, it, the screen couldn't keep so up with the, the number of, of text messages and, and phone calls. And it took me a second to realize I've deleted text messages in the past, um, tweet messages, whatever they're called. But it took, I don't readily remember how to do it, so it took me a second to pull it off. Uh, but by then, I think we had, so phone calls started coming in. We were trying to answer them, but when a phone call would come in, all of a sudden a notification of a text message would pop up, and you couldn't close the text message. I was trying to hit speakerphone so that we could talk together to whoever was trying to call us, and I couldn't get the screen to hit speakerphone to stay on long enough to hit speakerphone before other phone calls would come again. Exactly, so I literally was like, Cancel, clear, cancel, clear, cancel, cancel, clear, cancel, clear. <laughs> Talk loudly. So a few of them we were able to answer. Um, and one we answered was like, hello? Who is this? <laughs> Weird. This is not Dee's phone. <laughs> so we'd answer, they'd be like, who is this? Uh, who is hey, this? Evan, I'm on stage right now. I can't talk right now. Everybody says hi. <laughs> and you're on speakerphone. You're on speakerphone, just so you know, so don't say anything stupid. <laughs> do, you, do you have any words of wisdom? Well, well said. Oh. <laughs> We're all now better for this conversation. Uh, call you later. <laughs> yeah. And so we. Uh, so we'd answer and talk, and they'd be like, who is this? We'd be like, who's this? We'd be like, I don't know. And Jesse goes, and Jesse goes, you don't know who you are? <laughs> no, this who is, is this? Who is this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know who you are? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then, click. Oh my god. They hung up on it. And then one of the girls, here's, a, here's the double-edged sword of social media is one of the girls, <clears throat> it ends up being, apparently it's her birthday, she didn't sound like she was lying. She said, yeah. What? <laughs> Have we met Ashley? Does anybody know her? No, no. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, so we, so we talked to her, she was so sweet, and she didn't believe it was us. She's like, I don't even know if I believe this, but my friends will certainly not believe it. So I tweeted, like, nice talking, Ashley. Oh, yeah, yeah. The double-edged sword is that, like, you know, it was nice to have a cool kind of crazy moment on set and wish somebody had a birthday. Yeah, she was, she was on, we put her on speakerphone and the whole, the, at this point now, the, the camera crew and the sound guys, they're all leaning in going like, all right, what are you guys doing? What's happening? <laughs> and we put her on speaker and she's like, um, it's my birthday. <laughs> we're like, yeah, happy birthday. And then the whole crew was like, happy birthday, Ashley. And, and she was like, I don't know if I believe this. <laughs> But thank you. <laughs> and, and so that was that. Was that. And, and then I tweeted, nice talking, Ashley. And someone was like, oh, that's so cool. Lucky girl. And someone was like, you're married. Like, who is Ashley? <laughs> and I'm yeah, like, yeah, Jen, but... just call me. Like, I'll explain it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was just funny. <laughs> I'm here watching your sons and you're talking with Ashley. <laughs> It wasn't her, she thought it was super sweet. She was uh, she was like, oh, that's cool, y'all should do it more often. I was like, well, Robin will get mad. <laughs> they have to go change the phone number. And by the way, whatever they load it up with, you know you preload phones with like burner phones for 25 bucks or 100 bucks. Oh yeah, that phone number is now obsolete. The phone number is now, out. yeah. Our props department was like, thanks, now we have to get a new phone. Yeah, so many came in that the incoming texts and voicemails depleted the account. <laughs> All of the data and the packet of it. However, luckily it was a preload, not like an open-ended package. Is that the other one? Yes, that would have been bad. Uh, how much does 700 text messages cost? 
I don't know. Uh, let's do a uh, Happy Season 10, 20, 10, 2000, Happy Season 10, Happy Season 10, 2000.